Welcome to the Minnesota Children's Museum PAL video, helping you prepare for a trip to the museum. With PAL, everyone gets to go. Sky, Sage, and Sawyer are going to the Minnesota Children's Museum today with their mom and grandma. They are so excited. The family parked in the garage across the street. They crossed the Skyway Bridge to get to the museum box office. A friendly visitor assistant calls them up. While mom is purchasing tickets, Sage notices a dinosaur toy in the gift shop. They're very curious, but remember to stay with their grown-up. Everyone gets a sticker. The color is different each day. Sky is excited it's blue today. Mom got quarters from the box office and puts her backpack in a locker. It is easier to play without it. They can hear the happy sounds of kids playing. Time to join the fun. Minnesota Children's Museum is a place for kids to explore, create, pretend, learn, and play. General admission lets you explore three floors filled with exhibits. It's great for families and field trips. There is a cafe and gift shop. Families are also allowed to bring their own food and eat in designated areas. Drinking fountains and bathrooms with changing tables are on each floor, and hand sanitizer stations are throughout. Quietest times to visit the museum are weekday afternoons. If you visit during a busier time and need a break, the museum has some amazing spaces. The atrium and the landing can be calm, and the seasonal outdoor spaces can be a great place to rest. If you need a quieter space, there are comfort rooms on the first and second floor, a perfect place to take a sensory break. If the family ever needs help, they can ask a friendly staff member. Visitor assistants wear orange, and security members wear black. Time to play. Sky heads straight to Imaginopolis. She loves imaginary play. Today, she is an astronaut. Next time, she might be a bear. Sage heads to Creativity Jam, where the activities often change. Today, they try out a very unusual ping pong game. Lots of kids like to play at the Minnesota Children's Museum. The kids remember to stay with their grown-ups. Sprouts is designed for guests three and under, a perfect spot for Sawyer. There's even an area to feed the little tykes. As long as older kids are respectful, they can join the fun in Sprouts too. The family checks out the map. They choose to head to the fourth floor. The family takes the elevator. They notice they can't go to the third floor. That's where the employees of the museum work. Sage thinks it would be awesome to work here someday. The kids head right to our world. This is their favorite spot to play pretend. It has all sorts of stuff, like a fire truck, hardware store, and food truck. Sometimes the kids wear headphones here. It can get loud, and the fire truck makes noise, but today they are okay without. Lots of kids like to work the conveyor belt, so they may have to wait their turn. That's okay, it's totally worth it. The kids make new friends and use teamwork to get their package up. Successful delivery. The family decides to move on to the quieter studio. On their way, they pass the traveling exhibit space, Things change here and the kids love seeing what's inside. The studio is like an artist's workshop where the supplies and tools change a lot. Today, Skye paints a picture. She remembers to share. Everyone knows that next time they visit, the materials might be different. Sage takes a break. Time to move on. They ask a friendly visitor assistant how to get to the scramble. She tells them you can only enter and exit on the first floor. Off they go. Sky and Sage put their sneakers in a cubby, socks only in the scramble. If they ever forget their socks, the museum has some they can borrow. There's only one way to enter and exit, but many paths to climb. Sky goes left, Sage goes right. Mom likes watching the kids while they climb. They've reached the slide. It goes very fast, and only one rider is allowed at a time for safety. Sky wants to skip the slide today. Sage wants to do it. They listen to the instructions from the friendly visitor assistant to know when it's safe to slide. Whee! Time to check out Shipwreck Adventures. Sky steers the wheel and dodges iceberg images projected on the ground, and Sage jumps into the green screen. Sky decides to try diver training. She waits her turn, then enters a dark room. She's trying not to touch any beams. Don't worry, these lasers can't hurt you. She did great! Last stop, forces at play, exploring air and water. Sky uses a ball launcher to make ping pong balls fly. It can be loud. She thinks it's exciting. Sage wants to move on to water play at the car wash. Sage loves this pretend car wash and is careful not to spray other people. Mom sometimes brings an extra shirt and shoes to change into. After lots of playing, it's time to go. 
It can be hard to leave, but the kids listen to their grown-ups. Sky communicates on the pal guide that she is happy. It was a great family adventure. The kids use the restroom, then take the elevator to the second floor. The kids are not getting a toy today at the gift shop, and that's okay. Sage has decided to start saving their allowance for next time. The family had so much fun at Minnesota Children's Museum today and cannot wait to come back. Created for everyone by Minnesota Children's Museum and PAL. With PAL, everyone gets to go.